Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Sainsbury's Food Haul. I must apologise firstly for the lighting. Obviously when it was summer and it was lighter, I was filming mostly in the day. Now I'm filming this just after tea and obviously it's really dark and yeah, this lighting is terrible. So sorry about that. Anyway, yes, welcome to this video. If you are new, then I'm Helen. I post food hauls every Friday. I also do other sort of food related videos. And then I'm also a mum of Arthur, who is two, coming up to three in January. So I also post lots of videos about motherhood and toddler life, really. So please do consider subscribing if you'd like to. But yes, as I said, everything is from Sainsbury's today. This shop cost about £90. And we do cover different supermarkets, um, as you'll know if you're not new. But yeah, we shop in like Sainsbury's, Asda, Tesco, sometimes Waitrose as well. But let's get straight into it. Okay, so here is this week's shop. Just a few household items here. We needed some more kitchen roll. We've also got a bottle of hand wash there. We always tend to get this one, or quite often anyway, um, because Arthur likes the pictures and I like them too, to be fair. Some toothpaste, also some baby wipes. And then bread, we've got two of these small organic loaves, um, wholemeal bread, and also a small white crusty loaf as well, which is for Arthur really, mainly. Although actually me and Matt did have some toast yesterday of this, which was nice last night. This all came by the way yesterday evening. So as I said, we have just had tea and obviously it's the day after. So a few things have been opened, but it's not too bad. And then this week we've got these, just so four flatbreads, which um, my husband chose because we want to make some fajitas this week for tea. And I did buy some quite a long while ago in a food hall and they were, they've were they obviously been put in the freezer and then they've just, like my husband found them the other day in the freezer and they're all like broken up and because obviously the packet has been like shoved about. So we needed some new ones anyway. These are quite small. Um, but that maybe that'd be better. I don't know. So anyway, we've got those. Not had them before. And then snacks. We've got three packs of these hippie chickpea crisps. They were on offer in Sainsbury's this week, so we thought we'd get them because they're really nice. We always get these when we can, but not every supermarket sells them. So yeah, when we go to Sainsbury's, go to Sainsbury's, we always um, get those. Although this shop was online, I should say. And then we've just got some puffs for Arthur and then just some plain crisps too. Uh, we've got these. These are actually a substitute for oat cakes, I think it was. Um, but we have had them and they're actually pretty nice. We've given Arthur a couple. I'm not sure. I think he ate one and then he wasn't sure about the other one. But yeah, anyway, I enjoy them. Um, we've got a bar of milk chocolate. We've got some green Oatie bars. We've got two boxes of these shortbread fingers pack of bourbons and then also hobnobs. I really like chocolate hobnobs so I got those this week and then also just some pistachios there. Much easier because when they're in their shells it's quite hard to undo some of them. <laughs> I mean some of them very like literally impossible. Um, so yeah we just thought we'd get the kernels. And then things for the cupboard we've got some vinegar, some brown rice, some whole wheat pasta too. Um, all this like organic range here. Needed some more tea so a uh, tea bag so we i think they didn't have the make that we usually have so we got these so we will see what they're like i have decaf a lot anyway um but i will have some of those we got two cans of baked beans two chopped tomatoes a tomato ketchup this one's really good um as you can see it's organic and i think the um I don't know, is that that high 38% tomato? I don't think it is that high actually. But some tomato ketchups you get are like really high. I can't remember if that is or not, but anyway, yeah, this one is pretty good. We've got a passata and then also coconut cream. I think we'll be having curry this week. And then this is actually from Aldi, but I thought I was bug off anyway. I went to Aldi yesterday, mainly for toys because they've got their special buys, all their wooden toys. They had so much, honestly. I filmed quite a lot of it so I am going to do a reel which hopefully will be like live on my Instagram and I might do a YouTube short as well but yeah hopefully that'll be live by the time you watch this um, but they had so much if you're interested honestly get to Aldi they've got loads on online as well um, but I did get a couple of food bits I think I got hummus which Arthur ate I did buy some samosas which I haven't got out um, and then I did also find this because my one is I think running a bit low so I thought I'd get this, and quite often when I've gone, it's been out of stock. So when I saw it there yesterday, I thought I'd just grab it. So yeah, that is from Aldi. 
and then fruit and vegetables we have a cucumber that is a cabbage there we've got white potatoes no sweet this week um i've got some mushrooms and then also some tomatoes a broccoli that's organic as well and then a couple of carrots fruit wise we've got a bunch of bananas so i'm going quite fast because my battery one is quite late um, but also my battery is quite low so i have to be quite speedy um yeah so bananas apples pears which we haven't had pears for a little while actually i always and i always every time i have pears i talk about this the fact that sometimes they come hard and then they never ripen up they're still hard so hopefully these will become nice and soft We've got two pellets of red grapes and two pellets, well, like quite small pellets of raspberries, which one has kind of gone already there, as you can see. Um, so we will get some more fruit during the week as well. Then we've got hummus. As I said, I bought hummus. Was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. I'm such a bad memory. No, it was the day before. Sorry, I went to Aldi. Um, and we kind of opened it that day and then I've just like finished it off today. <clears throat> so this is actually a second half of hummus really. Um, but anyway, yeah, so eggs as well. We've got some corn ham, which has been opened. Um, we've just had tea and Arthur had a slice of that. Then we thought we'd try these yogurts. So Arthur usually has these yogurts, like just the plain, um, as Matt does. But we thought we would just try something different. For, I mean, it does have my soy yogurts, which are fruit flavour. I mean, we prefer these because obviously it's no added sugar, whereas obviously this is more sugar um but it's just good kind of like because he has yogurt every day so it's just good maybe just to try and mix it up a little bit he loves timmy time as well so yeah he was very excited when he saw these so we've got that we've got those yogurts too um and then also a large one as well he'll obviously have some of this as well and then matt will have some too then i've got some soft cheese they didn't have the full fat one which i would have preferred which again is just for Arthur, for like, um, he kind of uses it as a dip mainly, doesn't really want it in a sandwich. So having a dip or I might serve it with like jacket potato or like stir it with pasta, it's quite useful. So just thought we'd get that this time. I needed some more cheese. So I've got the free from one from Sainsbury's. Matt did buy his own block of cheese a couple of days ago. So yeah, I've been kind of like a few little bits that I've been bought in the week, which I don't kind of necessarily show, but like I tell you anyway, I always do, we always do a little like top up shop. Like I said, like fruit, we might need bread some weeks. We might need like the odd bit of, I don't know, potatoes or something. But yeah, there's always kind of a few things where we buy, maybe milk and stuff like that. Um, I've got tofu, so another meal this week I'm going to do tofu um i just try and marinate it and i cook it in the air fryer but i can never get the timing quite right i'm one of these people that always worry about undercooking things so i tend to overcook things instead <laughs> but yeah so anyway that's a meal this week uh, we've got soup for lunch one day and then milk we've got rice milk uh root health milk i'll just show you this over here by the way this is from aldi i think it was for Juiced. I think I don't know if it was that price anyway. I think it was 99 pages, just obviously a box of tissues, but it's autumnal. So, oh, well, there's a dog there. But on the other side, oh, there's pumpkins, as you can see, um, which is very sweet. And the actual tissues have pumpkins on. So, I thought I'd get those for 99p. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so sorry, milks. There is a big uh, dairy milk there. There's also a smaller dairy one, which is nearly gone, which was why I haven't gone out. But yeah, that was also bought in the Sainsbury's food shop. We've got some more butter, so we've got some flora, and then that's it from the fridge. So just a few frozen bits. We've got no chicken chunks because, as I said, we're going to do fajitas this week. And I don't think we've got any like chunks, like corn chunks or anything. We haven't had like chunks for a long time. I don't know why. We must not have had any meals. We used to have it sometimes with pasta, but yeah, we haven't for a while. But we've got a bag of this now anyway. So we'll use it for fajitas, and then we'll probably also do pasta um this week again i don't know if we'll i think we'll probably just do like the tomato based one which i know i speak about so much i have by the way recently just put out a meals of the week so please do go watch that video if you're interested in the meals that we kind of tend to have then we've got these corn pies which is quite exciting because i love these and shops don't always have them in stock so we've got those so that's a meal obviously with gravy and potatoes and vegetables and as you can see we've also got yorkshire fillings these are really cheap i can't remember how much they are but i don't know like 50p or like some, something ridiculously cheap um for 15 <laughs> and yeah they're, you know they're not like rubbish ingredients or anything they're actually fine so yeah that's a bit of a bargain so we thought we'd get that so yeah as i said meals wise as i said we've have been fajitas 
this kind of pies, vegetables and gravy. We're having curry this week, a pizza. We haven't, we ran out of dough balls and we forgot to put them in the shop. So I think we might have to get a pizza in the week because we have to have a pizza on Friday because that's just what we do. So that is another meal. Um, and then I think, I don't know if we have like eggs or an omelette or something like that. Um, but I haven't thought too much about it. We've got so much stuff in the freezer. So I just kind of need to work out what we need to use up more than anything, to be honest with you. But yeah, that's some of the meals anyway. And that concludes the food haul. Back to the horrible lighting. Um, and yeah, hopefully you can see my little like Halloween decorations <laughs> up there. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed watching this food haul. I hope you've had a lovely Halloween because this video will be going out before. I'm filming this on Friday and you'll be watching this like the next Friday. So it's a whole week behind. But yeah, I hope that you have a lovely Halloween weekend or week and that you've had a nice uh, end of term. Is it end of term or half term break? Anyway, yes, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this video. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a like and a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.